Hi there everyone, it's Mr Petrie here and it's great to be joining you for my first assembly of the new school year. I hope you all had really good summer holidays and were able to do lots of nice things with your family and friends over the seven weeks that you were off. But now you're back at school and I know that everything is settling in really well for the new term. And so this week we're going to be looking at responsibility and I'm going to tell you a story from the Bible. One of the most famous stories uh, that Jesus told, one of his parables, and it helps us to understand a little bit about what it means for us to be responsible for one another. And so this will be the story of the Good Samaritan and I hope you enjoy it. But first we're going to have a song this week and this time I've chosen two new songs for us to try and learn as we look at this assembly. So I hope everyone's able to join in with us. Thanks everybody. The first of our new songs for this assembly is God's Love is for Everybody. It's a nice bright cheerful song with which to begin our assembly for this week so i hope you enjoy it everybody god's love is for everybody everyone around the world you and me and all god's children from across the street to around the world across the street to around the world God's love is for everybody, everyone around the world. You and me and all God's children from across the street to around the world. Across the street to around the world. So here's the story. The story of the Good Samaritan, or the parable of the Good Samaritan, which we can find in the Bible in Luke's Gospel. Now once... There was a teacher of the law who came up and who tried to catch Jesus out. Teacher, he asked, what must I do to receive eternal life? And Jesus answers him, what do the scriptures say? What does it say in the Bible? How do you interpret them? Well, the man answered, love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength and with all your mind and love your neighbour as yourself. You're right, said Jesus, do this and you will live. The teacher of the law then asked Jesus, but who is my neighbour? And Jesus answered him by telling this story. There was once a man who was making the journey from Jerusalem to Jericho. Robbers came and attacked him. They took his robes and beat him up, leaving him half dead. Well, it so happened that a little while later, a priest was going down the same road, going to the temple in Jerusalem. But when he saw the man, he walked by on the other side. And then a Levite arrived next, one of those people who helped the priests at the temple. He went over and he had a look at the man lying there, and then he walked by on the other side as well. Then along the road came a Samaritan who was travelling that way, and he arrived on the scene and saw the man. And when he saw him, his heart was filled with pity for him. He went over to him, poured some oil and wine on his wounds to help heal them, and he bandaged them up. Then he put the man on the back of his own animal, and he took him to an inn, where he took care of him. The next day he took out two silver coins, and he gave them to the innkeeper. Take care of him, he told the innkeeper, and when I come back this way, I will pay you whatever else you spend on him. Now, Jesus ended the story by saying, In your opinion, which one of these three acted like a neighbour toward the man attacked by the robbers? And the teacher of the law answered, The one who was kind to him. Jesus replied, You go 
and do the same. I thought you might like to see what the country is like on the road that goes from Jerusalem to Jericho. Jerusalem sits up very high on a hill in the highlands of Israel, while Jericho is down in the valley of the Jordan. And you have a very steep climb to get from the one to the other. And this is what the countryside looks like between Jericho and Jerusalem. It's very rugged desert wilderness, very hot, very dusty, and you can see that it would be so easy for robbers to hide and to jump out on an unwary traveller. The story of the Good Samaritan is one of my favourite stories, and it's a story that reminds us that we each have responsibility for one another, that we have to care for one another, to treat one another as our neighbours, just as the Samaritan in the story treated his Jewish neighbour and looked after him. And the important thing was that when Jesus told that story long ago, the Jews and the Samaritans didn't like one another. They hated one another. They were like so many people in the world today who just did not get on with one another. And so when Jesus was telling this Jewish lawyer that the Samaritan was the friend to the man who was beaten up, that would have been a terrible thing for the teacher of the law to have taken on board, to realise that it was the foreigner, the outsider, the hated Samaritan who did the right thing and who looked after the poor man who had been beaten up. And so the story just reminds us that we each have responsibility for one another to help those who are our neighbours in the world. Dear God, Thank you for the story of the Good Samaritan. Thank you for everyone who's around us, our friends in school, our neighbours where we live, other people in the world who we are asked to help. Help us, we pray, to love you with our whole selves and help us to share your love with everyone around us. Thank you for that great gift of love, and may we always be willing to share it with our neighbours, whoever they are, and wherever they are. Amen. Well, thanks everyone for joining me for Assembly this week, and the next time I'm with you for Assembly, we're going to continue thinking about who are our neighbours, but maybe to look a little bit further than just looking at the people with whom we share the world. So I look forward to being with you again soon. And we're going to finish Assembly this week with another new song, and this is Jesus Put This Song Into Our Hearts. I hope you enjoy this, and take care everyone. It's been good to be with you for Assembly. Jesus.